Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here and today we continue with the Ken Waller series. However, we won't be hearing from Ken and instead I want to talk about his four day split for mass from an article he wrote in 1975. So let's get straight into it. I'll be quoting Ken directly, but here is his four day mass program his four day a week mass program for those that want it. And we can see that it was broken down into two splits, each done twice a week as follows. Mondays and Thursdays was legs, chest and back, whilst Tuesdays and Fridays, abs, shoulders and arms were trained. Here is Ken Waller on training for mass. Quote, perhaps the most important point in this training for mass program I'm about to present is the need to establish the right balance between effort and rest. I mean, not only the seconds or minutes between sets, but also the days of rest between workouts and their proper distribution in the course of a week's work. Add to this the basic biological night's sleep, and you have put down a foundation for what I think is a real good way to boost those muscles into a higher stage of development. It's hard to knock off whole days of rest when you see Arnold and Franco and Zane going at it every day with their own routines. You get this compulsion to work and you hate to let a day go by. You've probably felt that same way in your own training. However, before long on this mass routine, you'll learn to appreciate the need for rest. You build up on and get into the heavy systemic moves like squats and rowing motions with the barbell, and you've opened the gate on your reservoir of energy. It's very easy to overdo these big ones, so listen carefully. That doesn't mean you can get away with only four or five sets on a muscle group. That ancient concept was okay for getting bulk, the kind of size you got by stuffing the goose, force feeding yourself with everything in sight, but it's not that way anymore, and it shouldn't be. Neither does it mean you can do a lot of heavy sets. If you have been training hard for five years or so, you might get away with a high number of heavy sets for a while. But for optimum results, I believe the 10 to 12 sets on a muscle will keep you from going out of bounds and overworking. Growth simply won't take place without sufficient rest. If you overwork, you can go nowhere and even backslide. Your muscles become shocked and get mullish absolutely refusing to respond. The wasted time can be disheartening. After 10 years of heavy training, I've arrived at some facts of life. I have found that the best system for building quality mass is a four day a week program, hitting each muscle group twice a week. Calves which are worked each session are the only exception. With this routine, you rest three full days a week. Here are some important points. 1. Set your goal. What will give you the look you want? 15, 20, 30 pounds. That means solid muscle, not fat. 2. Heavy training builds more lasting muscle. Pump artists deflate with a two-week layoff. Guys who go heavy show little appreciable loss in muscle size after a few weeks away from training. 3. Heavy leg work is paramount. The full squat is the basic mass builder for the thighs. You will work calves every training day to keep pace with the thighs. The training program is broken down as follows. Monday and Thursday, legs, chest and back. Thursday and Friday, abs, shoulders and arms. The Monday, Thursday program. Calves. Donkey calf raises. This is my favorite calf growth exercise. If you train alone, you will have to substitute another exercise or rig something up. Point your toes straight ahead with just the balls of the feet on a four inch block. Raise up as high as you can on the toes and lower the heels as far down toward the floor as you are able. Do 15 full repetitions, then another five reps of burns, but going halfway down and then halfway up staying in the top half of the movement. This keeps the calves under continuous tension. The exercise is more effective if your partner or the weight sits more towards the hips rather than the lower back, so that more stress is placed directly above and onto the calves. Thighs. Heavy barbell squats. Unquestionably, the greatest thigh builder of them all. 
For a warm up, do about 10 free hand squat to stretch the muscles and warm up the knees. Now go to a weight that you can do 12 reps with. This first set is still part of the warm up, so don't use maximum poundage. After a one or two minute rest and add weights to the bar and do 10 reps. Continue adding weight each set as you do eight reps, seven reps, and six reps. Add more weight and do two sets of five reps. This totals up to seven sets. Keep the bar high on the back of the shoulders and keep the back straight so the thighs get all the work rather than the back and buttocks. Leg curls. Adds that sweep to the back of the thighs by developing the hamstring muscles. When performing this exercise, be sure to keep the body flat against the table at all times. If the hips are allowed to raise up as the legs are curled, the movement is less effective. Five sets of 12 reps resting no more than one minute between sets will do the job. Upper body warm up. It is wise to prepare the upper body muscles with a light warm up before engaging them in heavy training. I have found that doing two sets of 10 to 12 reps of chins and parallel bar dips, done superset style, is an excellent warm up for all the upper body muscles. Diving straight into heavy upper body work without a warm up is just plain stupid and it can lead to nagging injuries that retard your training progress for weeks and even months. Don't overwork on the chins and dips by trying to go all out for maximum repetitions. They are being used as a warm-up. Chest. The barbell bench press. Builds great size and adds strength. Using a medium wide grip, start out with 12 reps on the first set. Lower the bar to the highest point of the chest, then ram it back to the starting position. Add weight each succeeding set for 10, 8, and 2 sets of 6 repetitions. Rest 1-2 to two minutes between sets. Incline dumbbell press thickens the upper pec area and creates a fuller tie-in with the delts. Since your chest is already warmed up from the bench press, start right out with the heaviest dumbbells you can handle for 8 reps. Do 5 sets of 8 repetitions. Rest only as long as needed to recuperate for the next set, usually about 60 to 90 seconds. Back. Lat pulldowns. This exercise builds wide lats and adds size to the upper portions of the back near the shoulders. Since the back has already been warmed up, start right out with as much weight as you can handle for 8 good reps. Use a wide grip and pull the bar down until it touches the back of the neck at the shoulders. Let the bar go back up slowly all the way to the top for a full stretch. Blast out 5 sets of 8 reps, resting no more than 1 minute between sets. Bent over rowing. This great movement works the entire back from the lats and traps all the way down to the erector muscles. Use a fairly wide grip and be sure to keep the back flat and parallel to the floor throughout the entire movement. Do the exercise as strictly as possible so that the back gets the work rather than the biceps. In fact, try to relax the biceps and think of the arms and hands only as hooks as you pull the bar up and lower it. Do five sets of eight repetitions with as much weight as you can handle, resting about one minute between sets. The clincher. Finish off with one of maximum reps of chins and one of dips. That's it for today. Tuesday and Friday program. Abs, Roman chair sit-ups. If you don't have a Roman chair, sit on a bench and hook your feet securely under a heavy barbell. A piece of foam rubber placed between the bar and the feet will make this a lot more comfortable. With hands clasped together behind the head, lower the upper body down until it is parallel to the floor, never lower than this. Then exhale as you come all the way forward while trying to touch the head to the knees for a full contraction. Do one set of as many reps as you can. Work up to 50. Bent knee leg raises. Keeping the legs partially bent works the abdominals better and reduces assistance from the hip flexors. Keep your chin on your chest and exhale as the legs are raised up until the toes point at the ceiling. Do one set of maximum repetitions. Work up to 50. Do the reps 
slowly so you can really feel them. Bent over twists, a broomstick or an empty bar can be used for this oblique tightener. Bend forward so that the body is parallel with the floor with the stick on the back of your shoulders and your feet wide apart. Now twist as far as is comfortable to the left. Try to touch the left foot with the end of the stick, then twist all the way to the right. Keep this up until you have done 50 reps for each side. That's it for ab work. Calves. Same workout as Monday and Thursday. Upper body warm up. Two supersets of 10 to 12 repetitions of chins and dips. Deltoids. Standing barbell press. This exercise can really put muscle on your shoulders when you do it my way. Use a shoulder width grip. Or I prefer to do this one standing because I can handle more weight this way. Do not push press the weight or use a lot of backbend. Use the following repetition scheme. 10 reps, add weight and do 8 reps. Add weight and do 3 sets of 6 repetitions. Rest 1-2 to two minutes between sets. I prefer to clean the weight to the shoulders at the start of each set but you may wish to take the bar off squat racks to conserve energy. Press behind the neck. When you use a very wide grip, this not only builds the delts, it helps widen the entire shoulder girdle. It's a great structure building exercise. Do this one seated. Take the weight of a rack and jerk press the bar overhead as you sit down. Now, Starting the first rep from the top, lower the bar behind the head until it touches the base of the neck. Ram it back to the top and repeat for a total of 5 sets of 6 repetitions. After completing the last rep of each set, lower the bar very slowly to the shoulders before returning it to the racks. Arms, biceps, barbell curl. Good for the advanced man as well as the neophyte using a straight bar with hands spaced about 12 to 14 inches apart, curl the bar up to the shoulders and flex the biceps at the top. Lower slowly and repeat for five sets of eight repetitions. On the last couple of sets, it is permissible to cheat out the last two or three reps because your biceps will be tired. But don't overdo it. Use just a slight swing to get the bar moving and only on the last two or three reps of the last two sets. One minute rest between sets should be sufficient. One arm concentration curl adds height and shape to the biceps as well as building size. Sit on the end of a bench and grasp a dumbbell with the elbow and lower triceps braced against the inside of the thigh near the knee. This gives you a fulcrum for handling more weight without cheating. Curl the bell up until it touches the deltoid and tense the biceps hard at the top. Lower slowly and repeat for five sets of eight. Alternating the right and left arms and resting about 30 to 60 seconds after a set for each arm. Just go from a set for one arm to a set for the other, then rest 30 to 60 seconds. Don't be afraid to work up in weight with this one. Your biceps can be trained to generate tremendous strength if you keep pushing the poundage. Franco and I worked up to a 110 dumbbell for 3 reps. Don't cheat on this movement, but do work as heavy as possible at all times. You won't get quality mass unless you handle heavy poundages. Triceps Seated Barbell Triceps Extension this is my favorite exercise for massive triceps. I prefer to use an easy bar and do it with my back braced. Keeping the elbows pointed straight up, never let them move out towards the sides. The bar should be lowered as far as possible behind the head. Straighten the arms to full lockout and repeat for 5 sets of 8, resting about 60 to 90 seconds between sets. One arm triceps extension. I like to brace the arm that is working with the back of the opposite hand. Keep the elbow pointed toward the ceiling as you lower the dumbbell as far as you can. Return to the top by straightening the arm to full lockout. The first three sets do eight reps and six reps on the last two sets. A total of five sets. Start with the right arm first, then go immediately to the left arm before resting 30 to 60 seconds. 
to wrap it up with two sets of maximum rep push-ups with the feet elevated on a bench and hands about 8 to 10 inches apart. Then it's shower time. So here are again the two uh, the, yeah, the two different workouts that Ken Waller would use, the Monday and Thursday program and the Tuesday and Friday program. Monday and Thursday being, as you can see, uh, legs, chest and back. And on Tuesday and Friday being abs, delts and arms with both days, uh, well, actually all days, that's uh, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday and Fridays, working uh, calves. And here is Ken Waller again, quote, like everything else in this life, you get out of it what you put into it. You probably can't name any other activity where its members so glaringly wear the results of their efforts as they do in bodybuilding. Maybe the sport of alcoholism. <laughs> it's hilarious. Pretty easy to spot an advanced competitor. I knew a guy who was addicted to the sounds of drinking, not the drinking itself. Oh, he'd make up some excuse to get away from it all, then head out of town to somewhere off the grid, some nice, quiet, treed area where he could just stand there and imagine that audio addiction of his. <laughs> hilarious. This is typical Ken Waller, by the way, uh, giving stories. The hills were alive with the sound of boozing, you might say. Right now, he's working as a bartender in some crummy dive and no one can figure out why he's so happy all the time. If you want something bad enough, you can usually find ways of getting it. If you want muscle mass, you can get it, providing you are strongly motivated for a long enough period of time. Here's a premise for you. Go at it with a clear picture of what you want to be. Imagine your goal and strive for it with all you've got. Connect your brain to your muscles. Think. Make every rep count. You have to because you've only got six or eight reps to work with in most sets of this routine. Leave your worries at home, put them in your driveway and back over them with your car as you leave for the gym. Go to sleep. If you lie there staring at the dark ceiling, check yourself for overworking. Keep it up long enough and they'll be checking you in. Eat muscle building foods. Meat, fish, fowl, eggs, and don't neglect the grains, fruits, and vegetables. Try three meals a day and a snack or two in between, but don't be led to believe that bulk eating will force quicker muscle growth. You'll wind up with the same amount of muscle and a layer of lard. Eat like a hog, look like a pig. Keep it simple. Keep it clean and direct and stick with this layout long enough to work into some heavy weights. So, end quote, that was uh, Ken Waller's four-day-a-week mass split routine, and in my opinion, it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome routine, I would say, for a late novice, early intermediate trainee, and will put on some serious mass, as Ken says, if enough time, effort, and patience is invested. Loved it. I mean, I loved the uh, reading this article, and also Ken's little interjections with uh, his stories which uh, <laughs> you'll hear more of especially in the next video if you have enjoyed this video please give the video a like subscribe and leave me your comments in the next video in this series ken waller shares some hilarious stories about sergio oliva and other golden era bodybuilders so stay tuned that's it from me this is the golden era bookworm saying bye for now Head to www.goldenerabookworm.com for the biggest range of classic old school bodybuilding books as ebooks, e magazines such as Iron Man and Reg Park Journal, high quality bodybuilding posters of the Golden Era stars, merchandise, and classic gym wear featuring Steve Reeves, Marvin Eda, John Grimmick, Reg Park, and many other Golden Era stars. For those wishing to build a classic physique, lose fat and build muscle, online training is also available. Collectibles such as rare autographed photos from the Golden Era stars are also available, and to collaborate, please get in touch. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels 
as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Not all of us have the time to go to a gym or the opportunity to have a coach to teach us one on one. But with the Future Fitness app, it's like having a personal trainer in your living room. From February 11th onwards, you can try the Future Fitness app for only $19 for the first month. Think of what you can accomplish during that first month. So go on and hit my link at tryfuture.co slash geb to get started. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has. But to be honest, these three books, I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Deronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the Classic Physique Bundle, uh, Vince's best work, and available, of course, at www.coldenerabookum.com.